Hello, fourth grade. Today we're doing sales tax in lesson 83. And tax is a money that we pay to government, whether it be federal, our, which is our country, uh, state, Michigan, or local, which would be our city or towns that we live in. And sales tax usually gets paid to the state. So like Michigan has 6% sales tax. Today we're going to be working on some stories. The first one is Jack bought six bolts priced at 89 cents each. The total sales tax was 32 cents. How much did Jack spend in all? And we actually have two different problems here in this one. First of all, we need to figure out how much money did Jack spend on the bolts themselves. And 89 cents, so we have, we're going to change 89 cents into dollars. So 89 cents we do with a dollar sign. And we're going to multiply that times 6. 6 times 9 is 54. We put the 4 in the 1s, the 5 into the 10s. 6 times 8 is 48, plus 5 is 53, and put the 5 here. 6 times 0 is 0, plus 5 is $5.34. But we also have a total sales tax of $0.32. Cents. So we have to add $0.32 cents on to $5.34. Now $0.32, cents, we're not going to write with the sales with a cent sign, we're going to make it into a dollar amount. And we're going to add that. 4 plus 2 is 6. 3 plus 3 in the tens is 6. Don't forget our decimal point. 5 plus 0 is 5 for a grand total of $5.66. $5.66. is how much Jack spent in all. Now let's go over here to Tina. Tina bought a blouse priced at $25. Ooh, it's a fancy blouse. The sales tax rate was $0.08 cents per dollar. So $0.08 cents for every dollar that she spent. How much tax did Tina, Tina pay? In order to figure that one out, we would have to multiply $25, and we'll actually put our dollar, our cents of zero, zero there, times eight cents. Now when we multiply eight cents, remember we're going to make eight cents into a dollar amount. So we're going to do zero point zero eight is eight cents. And eight times zero, zero, we got zero, zero. Eight times five is 40. I'm going to put that over there. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20. And then these things would all be 0, 0 times would all be 0, right? So it says, how much tax did Tina pay? We have 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal points here. So we're going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4. That's where our decimal point is. And then of course, we only have two decimal points in dollars. So we're going to take these right off, otherwise we would round. And she actually paid $2 for taxes. So the total that she actually would have paid for that $25 blouse would have been $27. And we're going to go on and do one more story. And now we've done a lot of different things, so we have to read very carefully because sometimes we multiply, sometimes we add, as we've seen. But in the next story, it's even just a little bit different. And so we really have to be careful to look at what it's asking us. Look at this story. And this story says, Morgan bought a pair of pants, and ah uh, means one pair of pants, priced at $23.99. The sales tax was $1.56. 
Morgan paid the clerk $40. How much money should she get back in change? Well, first of all, Morgan bought, bought a pair of pants for $23.99. Now, that's not the only thing that she spent because remember, she had to pay for the sales tax, which was $1.56. So we're gonna do $1.56. And we have to first figure out the total that she paid. Now if we figure out the total, we have to add. So nine plus six is 15. Five there, the one and the tens. Nine plus one is 10. 10 plus five is 15. Put a dollar sign right there, or our um, decimal point. 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 5, and 2 plus nothing is 2. So Morgan paid a total of $25.55 for these pair of pants. But she paid the clerk $40. And we need to find out from the question, how much money did she get back in change? So we had to now subtract $25.55 and 55 cents. So we go over here, cross out the four, make it a three. Make this into a 10, cross that out, make it into nine. Make this into a 10, cross that out, make it a nine, and make that a 10. 10, take away five is five. Nine, take away five is four. Remember our decimal point, nine, take away five is four. Three, take away two is one, and a dollar sign. And Morgan should have received $14.45 back in change. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tough one. And if you need help, give me a call or uh, have your parents talk to me or you can talk to your parents for help. Thanks a lot and have a great day, guys. Bye.